10 ways I create passive income from property. Hi, and welcome to Momentum Property Education. And today I'll be sharing with you how you can create passive income from property investing and show you 10 ways that I use myself to create passive income. My name is Daniel Wood. I'm one of the co-founders of Momentum Property Education. And if you like creating passive income from property, if you wanna learn more, and if you wanna stay up to date with the latest things going on with the market, please make sure you subscribe to the Momentum Property Education YouTube channel so you get all the latest updates. So let's go through the 10 ways I create passive income from property and that you can start creating passive income from property. Let's start with an easy one, buy to let rental. So this is a simple, the most common way to make an income from property investing. That is you buy a property and you rent it out to a single tenant. That's called a buy to let. It generates a monthly income that comes in no matter what is happening in the market. It makes things very, very easy. Now, of course, big monumental changes like the pandemic do can affect this market, but it is the most stable type of property investment. Number two, Another common way to make money from property, it is definitely not one of my favorites though. I've done it, I've used it, but I don't like it. It is flipping property. That means you buy the property, you refurb it, or just bought it in a good, smart way, and you sell it at a new, higher price, and you make the difference. The reason why I don't like it is, really one of my mentors said this really well. He said, if the property is good enough to sell, it's good enough to keep. Meaning when you keep a property, you can get that buy to let income, Plus, it goes up in value over time, meaning you can refinance it in the future. So if you sell the property, you're giving away all that future potential. I like holding my properties. And of course, with flips, if the refurb quote goes up, if things go wrong, there is often very little margin in the deal. So I'd rather keep my properties for long term. But of course, as with everything, it's your call, it's your strategy. Look at what fits you the best. Another strategy that is really important, I own three buildings like this myself and I'm buying a fourth right now, is called HMO. That's a house of multiple occupancy. That means that you rent the property out by the room. So for example, in October, I bought a, a building in, in uh, Prenton. It is a huge detached house with 11 rooms. Now, instead of renting that out to one really big family, I'm renting it out by the room. This means I have 11 different tenants in there. Of course, I use management agents, so I don't have to do the work. But because I have 11 different tenants in there, it generates a lot, a lot of income. Now, in uh, HMOs, you generally have higher turnover. You'll have more maintenance costs. And of course, you pay the council tax and similar costs around it, your utilities. But the overall rise in rents, because you have so many tenants, does that tend to make it worth it. Another way that I love doing is blocks of flats. Basically, you buy a building or you buy, for example, a big house, you convert it into flats or you buy a building with flats. This way you have multiple tenants, but they're all in their own separate buy to let. So it's a cross a bit between an HMO and a buy to let. For me, I always say it's the best of both worlds. So I love, love that strategy. All right, so those are four very, very common ways to get an income from property. Let's look at a very one, one that has been very trendy lately called rent to rent. Now there are some different strategies behind rent to rent and we'll look at them now. But rent to rent is the principle of renting a property. Instead of buying it, you rent the property and then you rent it out and you make a difference, right? So if I rent it from if I rent a property from you for a thousand pounds and then I rent it out for twelve hundred, I'm making two hundred pounds a month. That is my profit margin. Now, there are two very common ways of doing rent to rent. So we're looking at, so, so far, we've looked at buy to let, we've looked at flip, we've looked at HMO, and we've looked at blocks of flats. Now, we're getting to the first two rent to rents. These are number five and six. The first one is rent to HMO. Basically, I rent it as if I was a buy to let tenant. Now I have to have the right contracts that say I'm allowed to sublet it and so on, and it has to be HMO approved and everything. But I rent it at a rent rate as if I was a buy to let tenant, and then I rent it out as an HMO, which means I get a good uplift and I make the difference in income. So that's the fifth way I make money from property. The sixth way is also rent to rent, but I can rent it and then I rent it out as a service department, meaning I rent it out as a short term let through to, for example, and 
Airbnb, Booking.com, and similar channels. So that gives me an even higher rent and an even better in between. I got a couple flats in London that I'm doing that with, and it gives me a very, very good rate of return. So those were six ways we can make. Now, personally, I also own three retail units, meaning I own, well, in my case, I own a block of flats, so I have a block, but in the bottom, I have a retail unit and I'm renting that out. That's called a commercial property. In the case when it's a whole building, it's called mixed use. But so I have a commercial property there at the bottom, which is a really, really good way of getting rent because often you sign longer term contracts. The rent might, the yield might not be as high often, but the long term contract does make a huge difference. Number eight. We're getting up there. A lot of ways to make profit from property. This is why it's so exciting. You don't have to be a certain type of person to do property. There are so many different ways and strategies that you can use that allows you to create very creative solutions and find ways that you think are fun, that excite you. So the eighth way I make money from property is through conversions, meaning I have a building. Like, for example, now I have I bought a pub and I'm converting that pub into 11 flats. So that way I can make an income. We call that conversions. You can also do that through, uh, I'm doing it with a factory. We're turning it into 14 flats and three retail units. So that's really, really exciting. And you can use any of these strategies to then make a further income off of it after I've made that uplift. So that's a lot of exciting ways. Now, number nine, one that we've started doing in, a, in some of our buildings is storage space. So you can rent property out as, you know, you can do self-storage. Basically, you can offer it to the people in the area. If they need to store, you need to have the right securities. But if they need to secure, you store, you can have it there. The great thing with it is the rent per square meter is very, very high in a self-storage building. So you get a very high yield off of the building. And now my final way, my final way I've done it is actually a venture capital kind of play. I co-founded a golf resort together with one of my mentors, which is generating a great return on capital. It's going, it's valuation. We started it out, uh, we went in at a value of 2 million. It's now at a valuation of 7.5 and it's about to hit 10 million. So things are really going quickly and things are moving up very, very fast. So that's really, really exciting and a lot of different ways to do it. So if you wanna get into more creative solutions, you can do that or more stable, normal, <laughs> normal ways of doing it, you can do that. So I hope this is valuable. I hope you can use some of this and I look forward to sharing with you other strategies in the future. Please comment below if you think I'm in, I am missing anything in my portfolio and I should be using other strategies as well. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.